I mean, just one thing, what, what have you experienced? You know, you've studied in a number of different systems. I mean, what have you experienced about kind of how you learn how to learn in all the different environments that you've had yeah. to learn? Yeah. You know, how, you know, because this is kind of interesting, isn't it? You know, one of the reasons we're talking about this is because we're trying to come up with perhaps interesting ways, perhaps better, perhaps different ways yeah. to help people learn. So what is your experience of learning how to learn itself in all the different contexts you've been in? It's interesting. Um, I think it's changed along, yeah. along the years as well. So at school, it was very much going into class and listening to what the teacher had to say yeah. and trying to really force myself to understand it. I think um, I do remember my A levels, um, you know, teachers that were a little bit here and there. Um, I was for forced to kind of think about really difficult concepts, especially in physics and in chemistry myself. Right. And to do that, I would. I would go, I would kind of use reverse learning, so I'd go back. I, I knew I needed, the end goal was to get through yeah. these past papers, through the yeah. syllabus. So I went through these papers, realized that this problem just didn't make sense. Yeah. And I actually didn't really get the concept really well either. I was looking at the textbook, I was looking at the answer, didn't make sense. So I don't know if this is the right way to do it. I fooled myself to, and created a kind of theory in my head to understand right. a certain... So you got the strategies. Yeah. But you kind of built a, a, a concept, concept that made sense to, to you myself, about yeah. how it was all working. And, and somehow that concept wasn't completely wrong. It probably wasn't yeah. right in the, in the most rigorous sense. It might sense. not have been clean and yeah. perfect, but it, but it, dirty, it, it, but actually, it kind of worked. Yeah, it, yeah. it sort of worked. It was yeah. almost my own invention of a certain concept. And once I used that methodology a couple of times, once I used like, okay, clicking on that concept one, o over and over again, yeah. I ended up understanding it a bit better. Yeah, and yeah. so I think kind of going back to the different ways of, of we, ways we can learn I, I found that I needed to sometimes accept that I was at a kind of like a blockade and I needed to cross it mm. and to cross it I could either sit there and hammer at that wall for ages and ages yeah. or I could find kind of a shortcut and then from this other kind of <laughs> greener field I could come back and, and take some sort of tool some sort of solution that can make that, that to, to kind of to get through that, um, through that wall. So similar sort of ideas. It's like putting yourself in a different position, trying another way. So reverse learning, which is a technique mm. we teach deliberately and, and a very important one, certainly with with um, with, with, with subjects that have yeah, yeah algorithmic stuff. You know, processes, yeah. a lot of physics, chemistry, maths for computer sure. Science. Um, computer science, in, indeed. So how did you stumble across it? What was the? I mean, how did you work it out? Uh, <laughs> Just struggling. Just, just yeah, genius. No, no, no not yeah. genius. <laughs> just realizing that oh, I was not working and you need to do something yeah. about it. Um, but did anyone say, oh, here's a way? No, no not, at, not all. at all. This is not something you get, get taught in conventional schools. Um, to, I, I remember my math textbooks had their the solution pages ripped out because they were... Oh, they didn't want you to, yeah, yeah, exactly. to, oh, to copy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 